So coming up to three years ago, I released a piano cover of Astral Observatory from The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask on my YouTube channel. We played it live on stream. It was good fun and uh, I liked it so much that I thought I'd put it on YouTube. Actually, that's not true. Silver Eagle Dev, shout out. You suggested that I put it on YouTube, so I did. And three years later, I'm getting comments all the time saying, do you have sheet music? How do you play this? And the answer to that is I don't have sheet music, but I will show you how I play it. So this is a highlight from a recent stream where I kind of do a deep dive into how the song works from a chord point of view and how I play it from a uh, performance and technique point of view. So I hope you enjoy it and I hope this sort of answers the question of do you have sheet music this is this is the next best thing this is all i'm capable of so enjoy so here we go tutorial for how to play astral observatory on the piano annoyingly it's kind of tricky without you being able to properly see the keys and stuff i'm playing but i'll do my best all right the simple way of looking at it is a chord sequence right so this song is just basically a bunch of chords they change nice and evenly from one to the other Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, pretty short, and it loops really quickly, right? So the chords are <laughs> a mystery. We'll never know. F major. Let's call it B flat major. All right, it's a B flat major seven, but a B flat major would also work, right? So let's go super simple, right? We're going to break it down to simple, simple chords, all right? So let's run through this. F major. B flat major, F major, B flat major, E flat major, but we're going to call this one an E flat major seven because it sounds pretty important, right? So E flat major seven, and then it's going to sound wordy and hectic, but it's not that bad, trust me. E minor seven flat five, and then A major, back to D minor. And then G major, G7, and then like B flat major on the right hand with a C on the left hand, and then a C major. Okay, those are the simple chords, and then it loops around. Then basically what you're trying to do in the middle of all of that is pick out a melody from those chords. That's the way I think about it anyway. What I'm doing is I'm playing a chord sequence and within that chord sequence where I'm just sort of running up and down, all of this sort of stuff, uh, I pick out a melody from that. So if we play those chords and then what we're trying to listen out for is this melody. I'm getting it a bit wrong, it's close enough. So there is a melody in there. Again, don't worry too much about that melody because really the chords are where this, this track is, like comes alive, you know? So what I try and do is I try and voice the chords on my right hand so they're hitting those notes. So instead of just an F major like this, I re-spell that F major. Like, so you've got F, A, C. I go F, C, F, A. All the same notes, so it's still the same chord. But it means now... I'm now in the position to do this. All I'm doing there is playing an F major chord and I'm just playing specific notes from that chord and you end up with the melody. Same thing with B flat major seven. Same thing with E flat major seven. All of these notes that I'm playing are just coming from pretty much with a couple of like passing notes as an exclusion they're coming from each chord that i'm playing that is pretty much it and i know that's that sounds really loose and, and conceptual but really what i do to, to get that to sound like that is i play these chords and then i play this like arpeggiation type thing right so all really i'm doing there is going
and then there's just this little bit here <laughs> which is b flat c d e f g g sharp and then it resolves onto an a which is again is the same voicing as i did before so all of that together you get this sorry you get this Then you can just spice it up and make it a bit, bit bigger and a bit fatter. all silly and funny and stupid and, and a bit like douchey but the point is is that all of that stuff there all i'm thinking about when i play that is what chord am i currently in right okay cool do you know what i mean i don't know i don't know anyway that is my weird rough and and quick whistle stop tour of how to play astral observatory sorry i haven't done the sheet music for it i know a bunch of people have asked for it i just don't do sheet music man i don't read too good 